Things are starting to heat up in the securities fraud trial of ex-state representative Peter Beck with his ex-business partner and the company CEO John Foster on the witness stand for the eighth day. Both sides scored some points. Local 12's Rich Daffy broke the story a couple of years ago, as a matter of fact, and Local 12 is the only station tracking the case for you on a daily basis. Rich joins us now from the newsroom with today's actions. Rich? Rob Beck's defense team would like to convince the judge that two other people really were responsible for the millions of dollars that were swindled from investors. One of those people is consultant Tom Lysett. He's probably the guy who would have taken the biggest fall here, but he's dead. The other one is ex-company CEO John Fussner. He's taken a plea deal in exchange for his testimony against Pete Beck, and he is sticking to his story. John Fuster has been on the witness stand for a grueling eight days, testifying against his ex-business partner, Pete Beck. Beck's facing decades in prison if convicted on dozens of securities fraud charges for allegedly helping convince a group of investors to dump millions of dollars into a company that never made a dime of profit, Christopher Technologies. With Fussner on the witness stand, Beck's lead attorney tried again to prove that Beck really wasn't the chief financial officer for CTEC. There were no taxes withheld from Mr. Beck's checks, correct? Correct. There were no 401k contributions withheld from Mr. Beck's checks? Correct. There were no employee type deductions from his checks at all, ever, were there? Uh, not that I could see, no. While Pete Beck had a deal for upwards of $150,000 a year, he only got paid $2,500 a month. Isn't it true that you're telling the court that he's an employee of Christopher Technologies because that's what the prosecutors want you to tell the court? No, sir, it's not. According to the numbers, Beck raised nearly 90% of the company's loans and 22% of its equity, plus $600,000 from investors. With a dash of courtroom drama, Assistant Attorney General Dan Casares gave Fussner a calculator to help figure it out. Of the total amount raised Christopher Technologies from investors, how much... Uh, how much, what percent did the defendant raise? 27.9%. Uh, uh, Reading from a company email, Fussner said, Pete has been instrumental in the funding efforts. If not for his efforts, we would be out of business. Pete has secured all funding since December. So through who, whose hard work was the, uh, was CTEC permitted to remain in business? Uh, Pete. The defendant. Correct. Fussner's company was trying to sell technology that would help track people in an emergency situation. They were also working on a deal to track passengers for Carnival Cruise Lines. He said today that if just one of those cruise line deals had gone through, it could have meant as much as $60 million. Of course, that's if you believe John Fussner or Pete Beck. And we'll see if the judge does. In the newsroom, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Up. Rich, did they ever do any business in this company? They did have a client. It was a uh, college just uh, north of the Cincinnati area and they had a contract with them to employ some of this technology for just about a year and the company and the technology went belly up. Fussner says he still believes it's the best technology of its kind out there. It's just that it never made any money for them. Rich, thanks very much. The trial will take uh, at least another week and possibly two. John Fuster is expected to finish on the stand sometime tomorrow, and a forensic accountant who helped put this case together will be the next witness.